In Perth, the Premier says police actions at the protest were justified and that they'll stay at the site for as long as needed despite the high cost. A day after police clashed with protesters, the Premier was defending their actions, maintaining officers are likely to be there for some time. If it's uh, required to keep the road uh, usable, then I imagine the police will stay. Uh, look, people are not entitled to take the law into their own hands and block the traffic and stop people going to work. Mr Barnett concedes it's a costly exercise, but says Woodside isn't contributing. This is a government which is charging footy followers and concert goers for policing. If they're going to apply that rule to footy fans, they should apply it to Woodside as well. Colin Barnett was also feeling the heat on Talkback Radio. I'd like to ask you to resign, actually, as our Premier, because I feel so ashamed. How could it be seen as being self-determination with the threat of compulsory acquisition looming over their head. But he had the backing of the former Labor Premier, Peter Dowding. Mr Dowding was involved in the 1980 Nookenbart dispute and says this situation is far different. The traditional owners went through a process and reached an agreement by majority. The Federal Environment Minister, Tony Burke, has met groups for and against the project and says he's not decided whether to give it environmental approval. The Premier isn't concerned. No, look, I, I don't know what you mean by federal environmental approval. Uh, there, no, 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 yeah, there's an environmental act relating to biodiversity. Uh, this site has been selected because it doesn't have a biodiversity issue, to the best of my knowledge. The federal government says a decision is several months away. Alicia O'Flaherty, ABC News.